Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to piggyback on that scripture from Ezekiel 37 that talks about the bones coming together and how God talks about their hope is lost and their their all the good seems to be dried up and there doesn't seem to be anything you know that can help them and and uh, and God is telling them he's going to pull them out of their graves and he's going to put breath in them and, and put them in their own place in their own land you know sometimes what we don't realize is there are times now this is a different application but there are some of you who have done a lot of time in prison there are some of you who have done and served a lot of time in some pretty sorry, sour, bitter marriages. Some of you have sacrificed so much of your lives and you feel like there's nothing left of you. There's no more hope, there's no more use, there's no more need in you even being here. Some of you have gone through so much loss so much discouragement you have been so disheartened that you really believe that you're in the grave all you're waiting to do is die God has something for you at every stage of your life don't sit there and lose hope and feel like well there's no hope for you there's there's no use in trying there's no need in, in pushing because I'm going to tell you something. God knows how to get you from point A to point B. But listen, there's a peace he has that passes all understanding. And no matter how things are shaking around you, no matter how far down you've fallen, if it seems like it's not a grave but a bottomless pit, God can reach. He can reach you right where you are. He can pull you up out of your hopelessness. He can pull you up out of your darkness. He can pull you up out of failure. He can pull you up out of loss. God is a God of restoration. Don't you dare give up. If God still has you on the face of this planet, he has not given up on you. Don't you dare give up. Don't you count yourself out. Do you hear me? Because God loves you and he has a plan. But his plan is not just for you to writhe in pain and agony. Remember that. God is so, he is so mindful of you. He adores you. And he's doing everything he can to draw you into his bosom. But some of you refuse to come. Because your mother hurt you, your father hurt you, your, your family betrayed you, your friends left you for dead. Or might as well have. You took the fall. You took the blame. You're carrying the pain. You're carrying the bulk of this thing. The weight of the world is on your shoulders. But baby, if you take the time to turn it all over to God, ask God to enable you to forgive others and to forgive yourself. Ask God to give you hope back, to touch you with a new level of faith, Ask God to show you some signs in your life that he hasn't given up on you. And while you're waiting, turn your life back over to him. Sometimes you have to drink from the glass before the water goes into it. I know that sounds crazy, but that's faith. You see a glass, it's empty. There's nothing in it. Woo! And you're thirsty, but there's no water in the glass. This is how God works. You take that glass and you hold it up to your mouth. Do 
you know when you start drinking, water will come in? Because that's the way God works. He works in paradoxes. He'll take the deadest thing. He'll take the the most the the oh my goodness, the most useless, dried up, dead, broken up, fragmented, scattered, buried, and will turn that thing around and let breathe life into it. And your life will be totally new. He will take you and make something beautiful out of your life. Do you hear me? I hope you hear me like I want you to hear me.